Hi everybody, this is Neil Allen, the creator of the comic series Zatswan Multiversal Guardian, which you can read for free at zatswan.com. And today I have a special treat for you. Um, we're going to be talking about vintage barrel Prismacolor colored pencils. If you've been, in, if you've seen the colored pencil discourse online, you've probably come across opinions um, stating that the current Prismacolor Premier colored pencils aren't as high a standard as the older vintage Prismacolor colored pencils. If you didn't know, Prismacolor changed ownership um, over the years and the current ownership moved production of the pencils from the United States to Mexico and um, the claim is that the quality control has seriously dropped the formula of the pencils has changed um, and the pencils that they're making now just aren't as good as the pencils that they made in yesteryear well fortunately I have gotten my hands on a 60 set of vintage barrel I'm gonna have to get a microphone stand a 60 or, or a you know holder a 60 set of um, vintage barrel Prismacolor pencils and I'm going to show you these in an actual artistic application as I work on coloring in a page of Zatswell Multiversal Guardian with um, these pencils here and uh, I guess in the background here you can see these are very thin Prismacolor pencils, current ones. I use them to line the artwork that you can see in a previous video. But anyway, let's get right into the footage. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this content or if you find it helpful. And remember to check out my own comic at zatswan.com. Okay, so I'm just going to do a voiceover here and just kind of freestyle what I, um, what I'm doing and what I think of the pencils as I'm watching this. Now I'm starting off using uh, Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle watercolor pencils. I know this is a video about the barrel Prismacolor vintage color, soft core colored pencils but before I get into using those I want to lay down an underpainting real quick with these watercolor pencils because the character I'm um, working on here who is Zatswan, civilian name AC Cooper, um, he's an energy manipulator and he has like a red glow around him so I'm going to put some of that glow that's around him in with these museum aquarelle pencils and also some of the glow that's like reflecting um, on him. Uh, so a quick note about the museum aquarelle since I'm using them. They are probably my favorite watercolor pencil. Um, they're them and the uh, Faber-Castell Albrecht Dior. Those are the best. So I'm going, they're, they're the best for me at least. Okay so here we actually um, get me working on uh, with the Prisma colors and I'm working at getting in the glowy parts. I do do superhero comics um, so the character has a chest emblem. That's what that yellow thing I was working on is. So um, if you're familiar with a lot of the uh, discourse that's been going around with Prisma color colored pencils then you you've probably heard many complaints about them uh, having low quality control the pencils break a lot um, and as I mentioned earlier in the video the uh, consensus seems to be that they're just not as high quality as they used to be so I do have extensive um, experience with Prismacolor Premier colored pencils and um, what I can say about them is I've I've more or less always been in Prismacolor's corner I've not really been a big hater on them as some people have uh, 
I bought a lot of different sets of Prismacolor pencils. You know, I have the 150 set. Uh, but I've also bought like 70, I think it's a 72 set, isn't it? Or is it 76? I think it's 72. The 72 set, the 24 set, the 36 set. And my experience with Prismacolor is that, honestly, they're hit or miss. But in my experience, they've been more hit than miss. Uh, you can get bad packs of them where you have multiple pencils breaking on you. And I know there's that that is really so frustrating because when we sit down to color and to do our artwork, you know, that's the last thing we want. We're doing it oftentimes, you know, for enjoyment um, and to relax. And that's just that that really can knock you out of your zen state, you know, like <laughs> you're trying to color and your pencils are just they, the, the tips of them keep falling out and falling out and falling out. Um, another thing I've heard is that they're, you know, they don't, it's not easy to get a sharp point with them. But as you can see in the video here, I know these aren't the, uh, these are the barrel Prismacolors. I use very sharp points, um, basically when I'm using any regular colored pencil, I typically prefer a sharp tip with those. Uh, pastel pencils I can kind of get away with them not being as sharp but so anyway I've been a fan of the uh, Prismacolor pencils but I do admit that yeah you can get bad batches of them and that's always unfortunate um, those issues that people have with Prismacolors I have not really experienced at all with these barrel Prismacolor colored pencils um, as you can see now I'm going in with the green to use as a complementary to darken uh, as a complementary color to these reds to get some darker colors in here just getting in some darker values up in the neck area in here um, no I, I think I have had like a breakage of the white pencil unfortunately but to be completely honest with you I think I have probably broken some of at least every major brand of pencil like some of these people say oh i've never seen a polychromos break are you kidding me i mean they don't break often but um yeah i have broken a polychrome at least one i know um i think it's just uh it's just something that you know a reality of the medium sometimes the pencils will break on you um, I've had, I've broken luminance, I've broken um, polychromos. I don't, have I broken a whole bunch? I don't think, it, wow, I, actually, I don't think I've broken, had a broken whole bunch. But I mean, some brands do it more than others. And Prismacolor, yeah, is one of those ones that can be like way up there. I have not, I've only experienced it with one pencil with these uh, vintage Prismacolors. And when you hold the barrel Prisma colors, you can just kind of tell that it seems like the build quality of the pencil is better. I'm not sure if it's the uh, wood they're using or just the, the finish they have over it or a mixture of both. But it does feel like a, you know, a pretty classy pencil, more so than the current Prisma color Premier colored pencils do. Uh, as far as, you know, performance with the application, I think that they felt, I felt very at home with them. They performed a lot like, I don't think the formula is exactly the same as the current Prismacolor premieres, but they definitely do still feel like Prismacolors. What I would say about the vintage barrel Prismacolors is that they're like the current Prismacolor premieres, but better in just about every, better in every way that I have um, discerned thus far. That said, um, aside from the breakage issue, they aren't like 10 times better, but I, I do like using them more. I think that, um, 
they uh, apply very, very well, at least as good as the current Prisma colors, but they don't. I really, I don't. I really haven't had any real problems with them aside from the white a little bit and it's not like the white pencil kept 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 breaking like Prisma colors can do when you get a really bad one I think it just maybe the tip broke off once that was all and um, I just resharpened it again and it was just business as usual from then uh, and they keep they actually keep a, a point very well as you can see um, I am using uh, brush and pencil Lux archival sanded paper which really eats up you know pencils really well that that's a good quality of the paper you know because it just the paper just grabs the pencil like nothing I've ever experienced before um, and these Prisma colors here are actually holding very confident points using them while well, using the Lux archival paper that is um, the Lux archival paper I don't want to talk too much about that since this is a video specifically about vintage Prismacolor pencils but um, it's a very very high quality paper it is my favorite paper that I have found thus far for colored pencils I before this I was using pastel matte more um, and I find that this paper has, it's like pastel matte, but uh, superior in my opinion. Uh, so right now I'm getting in the, the character is primarily white and red. Um, and he has a belt. If you can't tell in the picture, hopefully you can. He's like kneeling down with his arm outstretched, getting ready to shoot an energy blast. As I said before, I do um, superhero web comics, and I haven't seen too many people actually doing that in the colored pencil arena online. Um, so. I think I probably have something new to offer. A lot of times you see there are certainly the adult colorists out there who buy adult coloring books and use those to color with. And oftentimes you'll see people doing like animal, animal portraits like um, uh, photorealistic wildlife artwork. Uh, I don't really do either of those, but I still like watching um, the various artists just because you can still learn a lot from seeing what they do and how they do it. But I, yeah, I, I am coming from a bit of a different background in the respect that, you know, I, I'm a comic book artist. Okay, so now I'm coming in with Prismacolor Varathins. These are the current ones. These aren't vintage here. What I'm doing in this part of the video is reestablishing some of the line work that I colored over when I was laying in the foundation for his, uh, his uh, skin tone there. So Varathins, um, they don't get talked about a lot and I don't know why. Uh, they are a very hard, they're the hardest colored pencil that I'm aware of. Oftentimes with Prismacolor softcore colored pencils, like their main line, the Prism Prismacolor Premiers, one of the criticisms people have um, with them is that they're not good for detail work. A lot of times people will say like uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos is better. And yeah, for that, for detail work, the Polychromos is better. But... The uh, Prismacolor Premiers aren't meant to be used for that sort of work. I think the idea that Prismacolor has is that you're supposed to use the Prismacolor Varathins in tandem with the uh, Prismacolor Softcore colored pencils. Use them together. So I'm laying in uh, more of a skin tone. Um, he has a, a a brownish a brown skin tone, but I, I want I don't want to get it too dark. Okay, I'm coming in with walnut oil here. 
Now this is something that I don't hear a lot of among colored pencil artists at all. This is a, um, I'm using it as a thinner in place of something like a lot of times you'll see people use Gamsol odorless mineral spirits or something like that. Gamsol is very good and I like it a lot. And Gamsol is one of the uh, safer, the, the least toxic options you can use for a thinner um, but it, it 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 is still toxic the advantage of the walnut oil is that it's totally non-toxic totally um, I can make a whole other video on walnut oil so I don't want to talk about it too much here there are advantages and disadvantages to it I will probably save that for later so, um, going in with more Varathins. I'm using Varathins for the detail work. I'm working at a very small scale here, like this is actually a comic page. Um, and this is just one panel on the whole page. So, um, when you're a comic artist, you're often working at, on small scales because you're often not using the entire page for one single picture. Still using Varathins to kind of blend. Um, I'm laying in his hair. Um, Zatswan has a really interesting hair. Uh, he is actually a multiracial superhero character. So, in other words, just a mixed person. And you know, you don't see that. A lot. I don't really make a big. I don't make a big thing out of that, certainly not in the story, and I, I rarely ever really talk about it, but I guess since I am working on the character's features here, um, I think it's worth mentioning. Yeah, you don't see a lot of that in um, comics and uh, speculative fiction, so I figured that um, I would stand up and champion that. So yeah, with his hair, I'm still using the Barricans to work on that. Uh, his hair, yeah, I, I, I put some thought into it, and interestingly, I get quite a bit of comments on that. I wanted it to be very wavy, very wavy, but I didn't want it to be, um, like, kinky. So, um, I wanted to sort of, uh, you know give him it, it, it gives him a pretty distinct look which I like and now I'm going and working on the intricate details of his chest logo which you're not going to be able to see all of it just because it's uh, just because the nature of this picture it's obscured by his arm a lot um, but yeah as I said he has sort of a uh, I think I'm gonna go in and work on the skin tone some more in this picture. I could have left it like this and perhaps I should have but I go in and tinker with it even more. Just right now, right here I'm just putting on some you know uh, finishing touches um, but I think I yeah I'm going in and working on the skin tone more. Lightening, lightening it up some and just blending it more. So yeah, so I, I don't really talk about this either, but since I, I am working on this, or I'm watching myself work on this now, some, yeah, Zatswan has kind of a brownish skin tone, and, you know, a lot of times you see, see so, or not a lot of times, sometimes you hear artists, like, make a thing out of that, like, darker skin, coloring darker skin tones, and things like that. Um, or asking the, I think I, I, I saw a video once, are darker skin tones harder to color? And interesting, the person making the video thought they were. And I thought that that's pretty interesting. And from my perspective, no, they are not. But then again, I'm like, um, I don't know. They're just not to me. It's like, are they harder to color than... A banana no it's just like the color of what it is you know and <laughs> it's not like I think what I'm getting at is it's not like coloring it's just coloring like coloring anything else um, that's what I'm getting at I think uh, so here yeah just uh, I yeah I don't want the character to be too dark 
he is a mixed character. Uh, and I like, you know, reflecting that in his appearance. Mixed people can come out looking like all kinds of different things, but I do want Zatswan to, you know, come out looking like he is mixed. So I don't want to get him too dark. Don't want his hair. I like his hair to have, you know, that wave to it but you know I still like to keep it pretty loose in certain respects uh, yeah actually I'm going in and burnishing now and picking up some of those particles with um, a, d a damp tissue so basically we're coming down to the end of this what would I say the, yeah the barrel prisma color color pencils I would say I do like better than the current Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. They're like Prismacolors, but they are better in just about every respect, but not like 10 times better. Um, I haven't e experienced actually any breakages, any serious breakages with them, like to where a whole pencil was bad. They are considerably better in that respect, I would say, and that is one of the major problems people have with Prismacolor. Uh, I plan on getting even more of them in the future uh, and um, using them more and more. Uh, it looks like I'm just about finishing up with this picture now. Just doing some finishing touches to it. So I continue tinkering with the picture some and this is what it came out looking like. Um, I think I could have done a little better on the skin tone, uh, but eh, it's fine. I'm not going to sweat that. Uh, so yeah, in the end, these Barrel Prismacolor colored pencils are a total win for me. I'm really glad that I got them. Um, I think the, the, the very first Prismacolors I ended up using were Sanford Prismacolor colored pencils. I think they were from the 1990s. Um, also made in the USA so um, yes I would say that these um, vintage American Prisma colors are one of my favorite colored pencils colored pencil brands along with Holbein and uh, Caran Dash Luminance colored pencils I definitely like them better than the current Prisma color premier colored pencils and um, not that I hate those, but I'm really glad that I have these and I will continue to hunt more uh, vintage Prismacolor pencils down. So I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You could read my comic for free at zatswan.com and I hope to see you all again very soon. Take care.